monster traffic trouble. We have one icky sticky fungus finger left, Goo. Yay! <laughs> Who gets to eat it, Max? You, me, or Lily? Well, uh, whoever is first in line, I guess. And I guess that would be me. First in line. <laughs> it's all yours, Goo. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mascot will be there! Hey, it's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Hi, Hi Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Phooey! I'm very cranky today. Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is always very cranky. How can we help? I'm delivering a fresh batch of fungus fingers from my store all around Monstrovia. Fungus fingers? Oh, that's great, because we're all out of them. Well, no one's going to get any fungus fingers unless you come and help me. What's wrong? My scooter keeps getting stuck, and I need you monsters to help get me going again, or I might blow a gasket! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. The Monster Map Squad is on its way. Make it snappy. Hmm. We need to help get Mr. Cranky Pants Monster's scooter unstuck. <gasps> I bet we can use some Monster Map to do that. Yeah! Monster Map can do anything! Because Monster Map is everywhere! Hey! Will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Yeah! Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Line! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret Monster Math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Line! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh! <laughs> okay, Lily! Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help Mr. Cranky Pants Monster with his scooter trouble! <laughs> Well, it's about time you monsters got here. I keep getting stuck. Look, I back up, and I start again, and I end up bumping into the sidewalk. I'm getting seriously cranky. Hmm, maybe you're not following the line, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. You mean this line on the road? What's it for? In Monstrovia, you're supposed to follow the line when you're driving. I am. See, I follow the line, and... Stuck again! He did follow the line. What in Monstrovia could the problem be? <laughs> did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Line! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, line! <laughs> Monster connects the dots. Let's see what sort of picture he's got. These dots connect to make lines that are straight. What's it going to be? I can't wait. These dots connect in a line that curves. Oops. Connect those dots. Don't sway and swerve. A few more curved lines. And one more that's straight. It's a monster face. Well, isn't that great? Thanks a lot, Monster Math Monitor. <laughs> that was helpful. Now we know about lines that are straight and lines that are curved. I bet we need to know about straight and curved lines to help us with Mr. Cranky Pants Monster's traffic trouble. And since line is a math word, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. Oh. Okay, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Can you back up and follow the line on the road again? Oh, all right. One more time. Come on, squad. Let's watch what happens when he follows the line. What kind of line is it? Aha! A 
straight line. And Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is following the line, driving nice and straight, too. So far, so good. Oh, there he goes again, right into the sidewalk. But he followed the straight line down the straight road. Wait a minute. The road isn't really straight, though. Look, it curves here. Hmm, do you see the problem? The straight line leads straight into the sidewalk instead of following the curve of the road. So when Mr. Cranky Pants Monster follows the straight line, he ends up stuck against the sidewalk. I knew it wasn't my fault. I'm perfect. Hmm. I wonder who made this loony line anyway. Hi! <laughs> hey, do you monsters like my new line? Hi! <laughs> uh, who are you? Uh, I'm a road maker monster. I make and repair roads. This is my first day on the job. How am I doing so far? Pretty good. But why did you draw your road line straight into the sidewalk? Yeah, it should be a curved line. Oh! I don't know how to make a curved line. Oh, oh, I can show you. Okay. First, I'll erase my old line with my road eraser. <laughs> now follow me. I'm making a curve. Okay, here I come. Great idea, Goo. What do you think, Squad? Does it look curved now? It does! A nice curved line! Now you can follow that line on the road and not get stuck against the sidewalk, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Huh! About time, I'd say. Bye-bye, fungus fingers. Aww. Well, at least we got the job done. <laughs> or maybe not. That sounds like Mr. Cranky Pants Monster again. Come on, squad. Let's go see what the trouble is this time. That menace of a road-making monster just made the speed bump. Uh, what's a speed bump? Speed bumps are very important. They make you slow down so you don't drive too fast. Well, this speed bump slowed me down, all right, to a complete stop. I can't get over it. Watch. Hmm, maybe something's wrong with the bump. It looks nice and, uh, bumpy to me. Hi, monsters! Are you admiring my new speed bump? It's the first one I ever made! It's a very nice bump, Roadmaker Monster. But it's kind of impossible to get over. Oh! What am I doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, line, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, line! Look, a monster math monitor. The monster on skis wants to get over a bump, but the monster hits the bump and goes thump. Why can't the monster get over the bump? There's a sharp edge on the bump, a very straight line. Over that, you can't jump. It stops you each time. Here comes a shovel to make the edge smooth. Now the bump has a curved line. Over that, you can move. The monster on skis made it over the bump. He flew in the air and came down with a thump. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was a monster massive help. Now we know that edges of things can have straight and curved lines, too. I bet knowing that will help us get Mr. Cranky Pants Monster moving again over that speed bump. <laughs> hmm, look at this speed bump closely. Do you notice something about it that might make it hard to drive over? What kind of edges does it have? Straight or curved? They're straight. Uh, but aren't bumps that have straight edges hard to get over? Uh, like when that skiing monster tried to get over a bump with a straight edge. He went thump! You're right, Goo. He couldn't get over the bump. So that means to get over this speed bump, we need to... Oh, oh, I know! We need to put Mr. Cranky Pants Monster on skis! <laughs> Goo, I think we need to make the edges curved so they're nice and smooth. Oh. Leave this to me. I'll make the 
the edges curve. I'll just round them out like this and, and get rid of the sharp, pointy part, and ta-da! A nice bump with curved edges. About time! Now I can deliver my fungus fingers. These are for you. Consider them delivered. Chew quietly. Sticky, sticky fungus fingers! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Monster Math Arithmetic Job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster with his traffic trouble. And we did it by knowing all about straight and curved lines. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Hey! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster math! math. <laughs> monster hat mayhem. <laughs> that was the best silly face yet, Goo. How many silly faces does that make? That's five different silly faces. A new record. <laughs> Yay! Counting silly faces is so much fun. <laughs> that was the silliest face ever. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! <laughs> Somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Miss Hattie Monster. <laughs> Hi! Miss Hattie Monster makes the most amazing monster hats. I love monster hats! They're so much fun to wear. I love monster hats, too. But a customer ordered three monster hats. He's picking them up today, and, and I haven't finished them. Would you like us to help you? Oh, yes, please. I just need to get them decorated, but I can't seem to figure out how. Well, then, hang on to your hats, Miss Hattie Monster. The Monster Map Squad is on the way. Oh, thank you. We need to help Miss Hattie Monster decorate her hats. <gasps> I bet we could use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word word monster. monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Match! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Match! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again! Oh, right! I always forget! Let's go decorate some monster hats! <laughs> Can we help? Well, these are the hats. Oh, oh wow. wow! They're beautiful. Thank you, but they're not quite finished. I need to put these little jingly monsters on, but every time I do, the jingly monsters jump right back off. I don't know what to do. Maybe we can put the jingly monsters on for you. Oh, oh, oh let me do it! finish these hats. Hmm. We must be doing something wrong. Why won't the decoration stay on the hats? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Match! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Match! Look! It worked! A monster math monitor. Two little waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Two monsters, two chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Four little waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Four monsters, four chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Six little 
Waggy Tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Six monsters, four chew toys? That can't be. There, six monsters, six chew toys. That's a match, you see? Thanks, Math Monitor. I think the Math Monitor was telling us that we have to match the number of Jingly Monsters with the number of Puff Monsters on each hat. So to finish each hat, we need to count the number of Puff Monsters on the hat and then put the same number of Jingly Monsters on so they match. Okay, Monster Math Squad, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. This one has one, two Puff Monsters. So let's get two jingly monsters and make a match. Oh, oh, I'll get them. <laughs> two puff monsters, two jingly monsters. <laughs> That's a match. Awesome job, squad. Oh, thank you, Monster Math Squad. That's one hat finished, only two more to go. <laughs> right. Okay, squad. How many puff monsters are on this hat? Oh, I know. One. Two, three, four. Four puff monsters. <laughs> right. So if there are four puff monsters, how many jingly monsters do we need to make a match? Four. Right. Four jingly monsters coming up. I've got two. And I've got two. That's four. Oh, that's beautiful. Get these hats finished, and my customer will be here soon. We matched the number of jingly monsters to the number of puff monsters, but the hat didn't like them. What could we be doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word match together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, match! Look, a monster match. Two green waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a green chew toy to play with today. Two green monsters, two green chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Four red waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a red chew toy to play with today. Four red monsters, four red chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Six blue waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a blue chew toy to play with today. Six blue monsters, four blue, and two green chew toys. That can't be. There! Six blue monsters, six blue chew toys. That's a match, you see? Thanks, Math Monitor. I think the Math Monitor is telling us that we can't just match the number of jingly monsters and puff monsters. We need to match their colors as well. But wait a minute. We didn't match the colors on the first hat, and the jingly monster stayed on. How come? Come on, let's check it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. It turns out the jingly monsters were the same color, even though we didn't match the colors on purpose. That's why it worked. <laughs> okay, squad. Now that we know we have to match the numbers and the colors, let's get these hats finished. This hat has four red puff monsters. That means we need four blue jingly monsters to make the match. What? Not blue. Oh, right. <laughs> the colors need to match. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> we need four red jingly monsters. <laughs> well, here are two red jingly monsters. And here are two more. Yay! It worked! All the monsters stayed on the hat, and they're happy! Now, if we can just finish the next one before my customer gets here. Don't worry, Miss Hattie Monster. We'll get it done. Let's all count how many puff monsters are on the next hat. One, two, three, four, five, six! There are six puff monsters! And they're all blue! So, to make the monsters match, how many jingly monsters do we need, and what color do they need to be? Yes! Six blue jingly monsters will make this a perfectly matched monster hat. 
Oh, no! That must be my customer coming for his hat. It's okay, Miss Hattie Monster. You go keep him busy while we finish this last hat. Okay, but please hurry. I don't want to keep him waiting. Why would anybody need three hats anyway? You can only wear one at a time. I don't know, Goo, but we need to hurry. What do we need to do again? We need to match the puff monsters with jingly monsters. We have six blue puff monsters, so we need... I know! Six blue jingly monsters! <laughs> That's a match! Here you go! Two blue jingly monsters! And two more! That's four! And two more! So we have... Six blue jingly monsters! <laughs> Yay! Oh, come right in, Mr. Three-Head Monster. Your hats are all finished. Uh, Monster Math Squad, this is Mr. Three-Head Monster. He's come to pick up the hats. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, now I know why he needs three hats. Here are the hats, Mr. Three-Head Monster. Do you like them? Oh, like them? No, I don't like them. I love them! I absolutely love them! Oh, I'm so glad! Yep, I love these hats! Love them! Thank you so much, Monster Mask Squad! You saved the day! Way to go, Monster Mask Squad! We helped Miss Hattie Monster finish her hats! And we did it by knowing all about matching! That deserves a great big monster howl on three! One, two, three... We, we did, did the map! We, we did, did the monster, monster map! <laughs> Monsters at play! <laughs> what do you know, Goo? According to Balance Monster, you weigh the same as a monster melon. Really? What if I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Than the melon. Uh, what's left of the melon? <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster, monster mask squad will, will be there! Oh, what cute little monsters! How can we help you, little guys? We're trying to play musical chairs. Ooh, I love, 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 love musical chairs! We do too, but we can't make the game work. It's impossible to win. Can you please come help us play it right? Of course we'll come help you. You can count on the Monster Math Squad! Yay, thank you! <laughs> hmm, we need to help some little monsters play musical chairs. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. For sure, because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Monster math -erific. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word, word Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... More! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! More! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's go help some little monsters play musical chairs. <laughs> Monsters. The Monster Math Squad is here to help you. Oh, we can't play the game right. Well, why don't you show us what happens when you try to play it? Hmm, in music.
musical chairs when the music stops, one monster is supposed to be left standing to have nowhere to sit. And that monster is out of the game. Right, and the game keeps going until only one monster is sitting. And that monster is the winner. But we are all sitting. Yes, because each of you have a chair to sit in. Huh, something's not right. I know what the problem is. You do? Yup. The music isn't fast enough. Are you sure, Go? Oh, yes. Fast music is definitely the answer. And that means no one can ever win the game. Oh, um, I think musical chairs is supposed to be more fun than this. Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word more. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, more. Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. One yellow monster sitting in a tree. One green monster sitting in a tree. Two yellow monsters sitting in a tree. And only one green monster sitting in a tree. Another yellow monster sitting in the tree. Now that makes three. Three yellow monsters sitting in a tree and one green monster. There are more yellow monsters than green monsters sitting in the tree. Oops, now there are more green monsters sitting in the tree. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was really helpful. Now we know about more. Let's see if that can help the little monsters play musical chairs. Come on, squad. We can do this. Let's, Let's do, do Monster, Monster Math! math. Hmm, there are one, two, three little monsters. And how many chairs? Let's count. One, two, three. Three chairs. Hmm, the same number of monsters as there are chairs. Maybe the math monitor was telling us that for the game to work, one of those things has to be more than the other. Aha, I know. We have to take away one monster. Then there will be more chairs than monsters. Come with me, little fella. Um, Max, I don't think- Hit the music, Goo. DJ Gooey Goo is on it! <laughs> yeah! The game only works if one little monster is left standing after the music stops. Why are you both sitting, little monsters? Because, because we, we both have, have chairs. chairs. Two monsters, three chairs. The number of chairs is more than the number of monsters. What do we do now? What do you think, squad? Do you think we need more monsters than chairs? I think you're right. Let's give it a try. In with a monster, and out with a chair. Music, DJ Gooey Goo. Ow. Yay! One monster is left standing. He's out! The game works! <laughs> All right! Now we have two monsters. And we know we need more monsters than chairs, so if we take a chair away... Whoa! Uh-oh. The monster chairs turned into more monster chairs. I was not expecting that. They must be monstro copy chairs. They make copies of themselves. Weird. Can we still play our game? We can answer that question with monster math! Let's think. The number of monsters needs to be more than the number of chairs, right? Right! And now we have one, two, three, four chairs. And we have one, two, two little monsters. I'm trying to figure out if there are more monsters than chairs. Ah! Ah! 
I heard a squawk. Did you just see word monster? You did? Then let's shout the secret monster math word more together again. On three. Ready? One, two, three. More! Cool! A monster math monitor! <laughs> Three monsters and four monster scooters. One scooter for you, and one for you, and one for you. Woohoo! There's one monster scooter left over. What to do? There are more monster scooters than monsters. Toodaloo! And toodaloo monsters on monster scooters, too. Ooh, this probably means something. <laughs> but I don't know what. <laughs> it means there are more scooters than monsters. Of course! Why didn't I think of it before? We need scooters! <laughs> Goo, I'm not sure that's what the math monitor was trying to tell us. Monster math huddle! Musical chairs worked when the number of monsters was more than the number of chairs. Right! And now the number of chairs is more than the number of monsters. Huh. That's not good. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I know how to make the game work. And it's all because of more. What's Lily going to do? Oh, it's simple, Goo. Lily is going to, uh, to, um, Lily, what exactly are you going to do? <laughs> You'll see. First, we bring back, ba ba ba, the third monster. Let's see. Three monsters, four chairs. No, there are still more chairs than monsters. Exactly! I think I know how you can still play musical chairs. You do? Yay! Get ready! Hit the music, DJ Gooey Goo. Now the chairs are sitting on the little monsters. And the game still works! Yeah! Yay! I love this game! <laughs> Goo, I think your excitement may be more than anyone can handle. <laughs> Monster math -erific job, Monster Math Squad! We figured out how everyone can play musical chairs, even the chairs! And we did it by learning all about more. Let's give a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the, the math! We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! <laughs> monster Fang Festival! Okay, you. I have a long straw and a short straw. If you pick the long straw, you win and get the monster muffin. Oh, goody, Max! Who won the muffin? I think we both lost, Lily. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mask squad will be there! Two fang monsters! Whoa! <laughs> Look at their cool fangs! Hiya, Hi, fang monsters! Hey, Monster Match Squad! So, how can we help you? Today's our famous fang festival when the most fabulous fang monsters in all of Monstrovia. That's us! <laughs> have a contest to see who has the most fantastic fangs. That sounds like fun! And the winner gets the golden fang brush! But we need judges to decide who has the most fantastic fangs! Oh, the Monster Math Squad can judge your fang festival! Yes. Yeah, you bet! Fantastic! See you soon! Hmm, we need to judge the fang festival. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word, word Monster! monster! 
Today's secret monster math word is longest. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Longest! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help judge that Fang Festival. <laughs> We're ready to judge your fang festival. What do we do? You have to decide who has the longest fangs. Oh, okay. <laughs> that should be easy. Hmm. Longest fangs. Hmm. Which ones are the longest? Whoa, hey, missed me. Oh, oh. drool. <laughs> Sorry, Goo. That's okay, Max. Uh, hmm. I can't tell which monster has the longest fangs. Me either, Lily. How do we tell? Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Longest! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Longest! Look! It worked! A monster math monitor! A red monster with short legs. A green monster with long legs. Look! Those short legs are starting to grow. Now whose legs are longer? Do you know? Let's measure them both and see. How many bands for green monster? One, two, three. And red monster has one, two, three, Four! Red Monster has more. Red Monster's legs are longer than Green's. Those are the longest legs we've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Well, that was helpful. Now we know how to figure out if something is the longest. <laughs> yeah! Longest! <laughs> right, Goo. And since longest is a math word... Let's, let's do Monster, Monster Math! math. Okay, Fang Monsters, let's have another look at those fangs. Gladly! <laughs> I still can't tell which monster has the longest fangs. The math monitor showed us that you can measure things to see which is the longest. <laughs> You're right, Goo. Come on, squad, let's measure those fangs. Oh, wait! We can't measure them! Why not? The fangs don't have colorful bands that light up, uh, like the legs on the math monitor did. No, but we do have... Measure Monster! <laughs> measure Monster! <laughs> Yay! He can measure them. He has measure bands. Okay, Measure Monster, help us measure these fangs. And you get ready to help us count the measure band squad. Here we go. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. The straight fanged fang monster's fangs are five bands long. Now let's measure the other fangs. Help us count again, squad. One, two, three, four, five, six. The curly fanged fang monster's fangs are six bands long. And six is more than five, so that means... Yes! The curly fanged fang monster's fangs are the longest! He wins the Fang Festival! <laughs> Yay! Not so fast, Monster Mad Squad. That's only the first part of the festival. Yeah! Now it's time for the Fang Hang! Fang Hang! <laughs> The fang hang? What's that? We will each hang by our fangs on this branch one at a time. The winner will be the one who can fang hang the longest. But how will we know who can fang hang the longest? 
We know how to measure the length of things, like fangs, but how do you measure how long someone can do something, like fang hang? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, longest, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Longest! Look, a monster math monitor. Two monsters want to balance on a ball. Who can balance the longest before they fall? Who will it be? Let's count and see. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Well done, monster number one. Monster number two, how about you? One, two, three. That wasn't very long at all. Monster number one can balance the longest on the ball. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was really helpful, don't you think? Now we know that there are longer and shorter times. Cool. I bet that will help us figure out which fang monster can fang hang the longest. I think it will. We can count how long they fang hang, just like on the math monitor. Good thinking, Goo. The longer they hang, the higher we count. Okay, here I go. Get ready to see how long I can fang hang. Monster Math Squad, let's all count together and see who fang hangs the longest. There he goes! He's fang hanging! Oh, uh, start counting, everyone! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty long! We counted all the way to eight! My turn! <laughs> okay, squad, let's count how long this fang monster hangs! One, two, three, four, Five, six! Six! Uh, which fang monster hung on the longest? What do you think? Was it this fang monster? He hung on for eight counts. Or this fang monster? He hung on for six counts. Eight is more than six. So, who was it? Yes! This fang monster hung on the longest. Yay! <laughs> he wins! <laughs> well, not exactly. You see, I have the longest fangs, so I won that contest. And I can fang hang the longest, so I won that contest. Hmm. So you each won one contest. So, uh, it's a tie? But who wins the golden fang brush? Well, we don't have any more contests. How will we decide the winner? We must have a winner. Oh, oh, I know. Pick bristles. I have two brush bristles. The monster who picks the longest bristle wins the fang festival. Fantastic, Fantastic idea. idea. Great wow, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Which bristle is the longest? I bet you know. That's it! I win! I win! I have the most fantastic fangs in all of Monstrovia! And you get to brush my fangs! Yay! Fang monsters love to brush fangs! <laughs> I guess everyone wins! Monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped choose a Fang Festival winner, and we did it by learning all about Longest. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> Bucking Monster Mayhem. More toys, Max! Goo. Don't you think you have too many toys to play with now? No, I don't have enough yet. Too many toys. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! It's the three little monsters. Hi, three little monsters! Hi, Monster Mascot! We're super excited! 
The three little monsters are always super excited. Yeah, but today we're super excited with extra bug sauce on top. Yeah! What are you super excited with extra bug sauce on top about? There's a new ride outside Barks and Stench store. It's a bucking monster and it's the coolest ride ever. Ride ever! <laughs> I want to go on it. So do we. But we can't. Why not? It won't work. We put our money in, but the bucking monster won't buck. Oh, that's no fun. No. Don't worry, little monsters. We can help. The monster mat squad is on the way. Yay! <laughs> We need to figure out a way to get a bucking monster to buck. <gasps> I'm sure we can use monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can solve any problem. Yeah, because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will, yes. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Word ah! monster. Cool. There's more than one word. Today's secret monster math words are too many and not enough. Whoa, that's a lot of secret monster math words. This is going to be monster math amazing. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Too many, not enough. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help the little monsters ride the Bucky Monster. <laughs> Watch this. We put it on coins. One, two, and we hop on for a ride. <laughs> Get it, monster! See? Nothing happens. Oh. Hmm. I wonder what could be wrong. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words, too many and not enough. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. Too many, not enough. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. A monster wants to buy a pie. How many coins will it take to buy? <laughs> One monster coin? No, that's not enough to buy the pie. Two monster coins? Still not enough to buy the pie. How about three coins? Yes, that's enough to buy the pie. Monsters eat the strangest things. My oh my. Well, that was helpful. The hungry monster needed three coins to buy the pie. Yeah! One coin was not enough, and neither were two. I bet we need to know about not enough to get the bucking monster to work. And since not enough is all about math... Let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math! No! Little monsters, show us exactly what you did when you tried to ride the bucking monster. We put in our coins. One, two, like this. And we hopped out for a ride. coins does it say you need to ride the bucking monster? Let's count. One, two, three coins. We put in one, two coins. 
you put in two coins, but the ride says you need three coins. So that means... Oh, oh, I know, I know! You have to put the coins in the bucking monster's mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the problem, Goo. You need three coins to ride the bucking monster. Two coins are not enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh! Wait! I have another coin! <laughs> Let's try! One, two, three coins! Hey! The bucking monster looks like it's working now! Get it up, monster! Oh. Hey! What happened? They put in enough coins. So what could be wrong now? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words, too many and not enough, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, too many! many. Not enough! Look, a monster math monitor! Five monsters getting on a boat. Uh-oh, the boat won't float. Too many monsters on the boat. One monster gets off, but it still won't float. One more monster gets off the boat, and what do you know? Now it floats. Three monsters on a boat that floats. Bon voyage, monsters. When you get where you're going, send us a note. <laughs> well, that was very helpful. There were too many monsters on that boat for it to float. Do you think that too many has something to do with why the bucking monster won't work? Maybe. Let's try it again. Okay, little monsters, put in your coins. Okay, Max. One, two, three coins. That's just enough coins. Giddy up, monster! <laughs> Oh. It's still not working! Look! This shows how many little monsters need to ride the bucking monster. One, two. How many monsters are on the ride? Let's count them together. One, two, three. But there are only supposed to be two little monsters, so that means... Oh, oh, I know, I know! There are too many monsters for the ride to work. Right! Too many! We know all about too many. Let's try again, little monsters. We'll get off! Here you go! This is way too intense! Whoa! right with the ride. It shouldn't be bucking monsters off like that. It's dangerous. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. There were too many monsters, so some of the monsters got off. Yeah. So what's wrong now? Let's have a monster math squad think. First, there were three monsters, and the ride wouldn't go. That was too many. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then there was one monster, and the ride was too wild. Right. So that means... Oh, I know, I know. The bucking monster is out of control. Maybe he's hungry. <laughs> no, Goo. It means the ride is meant for two riders. So one rider is not enough. Oh, right. <laughs> That's another thing I knew. Not enough. The little monsters need to try the ride with two riders. Here we go. It's working! <laughs> what an awesome ride! <laughs> Monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped the little monsters get their bucking monster ride. And we did it by knowing all about too many and not enough. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! 
We, we did, did the math. math! We did, did the monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next! I'm 